Hi, how are we folks? I'm Tara. I'm one of the guides here on Sarah Island, bringing a little bit of the island to you for those who can't travel down at the moment. And here to talk to you about punishment. Behind me are the ruins of what is known as the Solitary Confinement Jail. Now, if you were sent to solitary, you would go up the stairs into the main guards room and down the corridor to the right where you would enter to six solitary cells. Each cell was six feet in length, six feet in height and three feet in width with half a metre thick brick walls and heavy timber doors. So as part of the punishment here, it was to reflect the size of your average grave so that you would contemplate your mortality in silence and absolute darkness. Now it is possible that they were finding an alternative to their usual form of punishment, which was more physical over mental, where here they had what was called the Macquarie Harbour Cat, which was three cat of nine tails woven together and within the knots of the leather, embedded pieces of sharp lead that were guaranteed to cut open your back within that first lash. So caused a lot of damage and was even actually fatal in one scenario, where on the 27th of April in 1822, John Ollery was sentenced to 50 lashes. By his 30th, he was pronounced unconscious, pronounced dead by his 35th lash. When he was laid to rest, the, he was then buried at Halliday's Island, a small rocky island just southeast of Sarah Island. The convicts actually nicknamed the island Ollery's Holiday in his honour. Now this jail here was just an experiment, which in the end it didn't get used very often because it just resulted in nothing but driving the men to insanity. However, this horrid practice was brought back once again and at a more extreme level when they set up the separate prison at the new awaiting settlement that was Port Arthur. This was in a bid to really break the men's spirits here. However, these spirits of these men, they still remain today within the stories that we tell here on this island. And to all our visitors from interstate and overseas. These stories will await you when you arrive back. Stay safe, take care, and good afternoon.